This video is going to show you how to draw um, a Fibonacci spiral and to do that you're going to need a ruler, a pencil, a compass, some squared paper, you may need a rubber. Um, so let's get started. Now the Fibonacci sequence is calculated by adding the previous two terms together to find the next term. So for example, if we start at zero and one, one and zero is one, one and one is two, two and one is three, three and two is five, five and three is eight, eight and five is 13, I'll do one more, 13 and eight is 21, and it goes on and on and on. So that's how to calculate the Fibonacci sequence. And we are going to draw this using some squared paper, a ruler and a compass. Okay. Now let me zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit closer what I'm going to do. Nice if we still have the sequence there. Okay. So we're going to, first of all, draw the one and the one square. Okay. So if we start about here, I think. I've got the one. You have to be careful, you've got to be quite accurate if you want the spiral to look really neat and accurate. So that's the one and the one that line up with those two digits. The next one is the two. So we've got two here, two here. So let's draw the two squares. So there's two squares on each of the sides. Okay, so this is our ones. We've got our two here. The next one is the three. So we've got the two and the one, which is the three. That's one side of our square. And we'll draw three, three, and three. And that is our number three. And the next one is five. So it's going to be here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we draw one side with five squares. Now you can use any squared paper for this. You can use the blue graph paper. It doesn't have to be exactly like this, as long as it's squared. So this is our five. The next one is the eight. So we've got five, six, seven, eight. So that's one side of our square. And we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On this side. This is eight. And join it up. That's our eight. The next one is going to be our 13. So we've got eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So that's one side. We'll draw the next one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You will need to use a ruler to do this. Okay, that's 13. And the next one is the 21. So we've got 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So if we count 21 squares along here as well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You can go as big as you like. It very quickly starts to become quite large. Um, and I find most regular A4 pieces of graph paper, 21 is the largest you can go to without having to join paper or obviously A3 graph paper you'll be able to draw a bigger spiral. So that is the square um, squares but there are no rectangles in this so if you see a rectangle you've made some miscalculation. Okay the next thing now we're going to draw the spiral so take your compass and place it in the corner of the square. Now the spiral is going to start from the outside I find is easiest and work in towards the middle. Okay. Now with the compass, if you turn it onto the edge, 
it's easier than trying to drag it round and twist for being upright. So if you just turn it on its side, you can make a nice curved line. So the spiral is going to continue from here. So you know that that needs to go, the pencil needs to match up there. So put it to the corner of the square and across to the other corner. Make sure it's right. And then you're drawing an arch. So that's the arc for that. It's going to continue round here. So if we put the point in the corner of our square, the pencil in the other, and join it up. You can already now see the formation of the spiral. As the squares get smaller, it does get a little bit more fiddly. We can see we're going to start from here. So put the point, line it up and draw the arc. So we're doing our number five. Then we're going to do our number three. Line it up. What I find is the last one, it's actually very tricky to draw with a compass. And I find because it's small enough, you can you can finish the last one off by hand. So just do a curve and finish off your spiral. Okay, so I'm going to use a pencil to go, a pen to go over the top so you can see the spiral. Once we've done this, we're going to use this spiral as the basis of a curve that we can trace to create some more artwork. Artwork which is going to incorporate the Fibonacci spiral. Okay, so there we have it.